What if the number you're taking the square root of is not a perfect square? Well, we can estimate the value of the square root by looking for the perfect square that it's closest to. So for example, if you have the square root of 139, you can see that it's right in between the square root of 121 and 144. And so that means that the value of the square root of 139 is going to be in between 11 and 12. And then to, um, to be a little bit more specific, you can think about what it's even closer to. So 139, is five away from 144 and 18 away from um, 121. So that means it's gonna be closer to 12 than 11, but it's still gonna be in between. So I probably estimate that to be somewhere around 11.8. What about, for example, the square root of 57? Well, square root of 57 is in between square root of 49 and square root of 64. So we know that the value of that is gonna be somewhere in between seven and eight. And let's see what it's closer to. So 49 to 57, that's eight away, and 57 to 64 is seven away. So that's pretty even. So I'd say that this is close to about 7.5.